Hey, hello everybody and welcome to another uh, Arkham Horror the Card Game. Five cool cards for X Investigator and today X is Skids O'Toole. So uh, what can we say about Skids that we like about him? Number one, stat line's freaking weird. I like that because it sucks and it's a nightmare when you play him the first time. <laughs> Especially... I like how you can play cards that aren't green him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Bryn said something um, while we were building this list is that we should have included <clears throat> we should include Switchblade level zero because if you have not played Skids which switch with Switchblade level zero you have not truly played the horrible side of Arkham Horror the card game. I have the true Skids true. experience. Yeah. I have only played Skids once and I had a horrible time with them, but I do think we have five cool cards and I do I should give them another shake, but at the same time I just look at that stat line and I'm like oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's that's a weird stat line. So, uh, the important part for Skids is uh, as a lightning bolt during your turn, you can spend two resources. You may take an additional action this turn, limit once per turn. Let's get to our first card, which is the Ace of Swords. Okay, so this is from the Circle and Done cycle because it's a tarot card. Uh, it costs three uh, to play. It's a tarot and it takes up your tarot slot. Uh, it costs one experience. You get plus one fist when the game begins. If Ace of Swords is in your opening hand, put it into play. Uh, before we get to explaining why this is here, this card is, like, there were some other cards that were, like, kind of like this. The important part is that Skid needs to help his stats out a bit, and Ace of Swords is one of the ways to do that. So, Brent, I'll let you take this one a bit, too, right. a bit further, if there's yeah. anything else to say. Yeah, you're probably thinking, guys, this card isn't cool at all. And <laughs> it's not, like, kind of right. It's not really as cool as we normally go for in this series. Mm -hmm. However... This is the card that when it came out, I think all of us were like, yeah, okay, maybe maybe Skids could be a fighter. Maybe maybe he's not as garbage as he seems. Because mm -hmm. his ability yeah, is strong. But that that uh, that stat line is just like it's not it's not good. Mm -hmm. But with Ace of Swords isn't cool punch. or fun, but playing the game is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, getting to play the game is both cool and fun. Uh, yeah. Some alternatives we had, like Delilah O'Rourke, but we uh, Travis put up an excellent point that while the stat boost is nice, her Delilah O'Rourke's remaining ability is really bad for skids because you want to be using your resources to take extra actions during your turn. It, it's yeah. not bad; it's just conflicting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. All right, like, so you're not we got... wrong to play here. It's, you just have to pick. <laughs> we got through the um, the. The boring of our five cool cards, but it's very important to say playing the game is cool. So now with all of these, let's pretend that <laughs> Skid also had an Ace of Swords in play, so he has four fist. Next up, we got Haste. Okay, all right. Haste is from the, the, the Dream Eaters cycle. It's a three cost, two experience, ritual asset that takes up a spell slot, limit once per investigator. As a reaction, after you perform the same type of action twice in a row, exhaust haste. Take another action of that type again. This includes activate, engage, evade, fight, yada, 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 yada. Why did we choose this one? Because uh, it's super easy for Skids to trigger it with mm -hmm. his ability. You already, It's kind of like you can look at his ability like paying two resources for two actions with haste in play. You yeah. can do three different things and then you use your free action to do whatever the last mm -hmm. thing you did was and then you yeah. yeah like if you've got a, if you've got a weapon in play and a lock picks in play you can use the weapon to kill the enemy you're engaged with and then use your free action off the haste to activate the lock picks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's kind of neat if you try to evade twice in a row and fail both times you can do it again Two and then like times, kind of. uh, yeah and then like you have a you leo know. de luca in play and you can like do six yeah. actions a turn that's pretty sick yeah. a lot of actions that's a lot yeah, of action. Yeah, you can fail a lot of tests at six yeah. actions a turn. I like two turns. Still, I like still be playing the game. Yeah. That's, that's how Skids <laughs> does it. He makes up for it by just getting more actions to potentially fat, pass. Otherwise, you know. Quantity over quality. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up, we got the tw uh, 25 automatic. Sorry, I'm just writing down time codes to for this. Uh, it's actually also an upgraded version of this card now. Oh, is there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, it's like after you've made an enemy, you get to shoot them. Oh, sick. Oh, yes, As yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this one is from Innsmouth Conspiracy. Uh, that is correct, right? I, I haven't internalized that it's symbol in my brain. It's from Innsmouth Cycle, for sure. Uh, 
And it's a four cost asset that takes up a hand slot. Uh, it's fast, uses four ammo as an action. Spend one ammo, fight if the attacked enemy is exhausted. You get plus two fist and deal plus one damage for this attack. There's also the upgraded version, which is, uh, Travis, after you evade an enemy, you get to fire it? I believe so. You get to yeah. shoot it for not in action. Sick. <laughs> but Justin, what if the enemy's not evaded? Well, Skids has a good foot stat. <laughs> He has four feet. He actually could really just really better than them. fighting stat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if they if they are not evaded, then this is like fighting with a four costed switchblade mm -hmm. that has uses. Yeah, which I think if they're not you a evaded, fairly... just don't use yeah. a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Travis is like, I'm taking it. crazy pills. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just punch him. You don't use the gun. Yeah. No, Travis, you got to evade the rats first and then shoot them. Uh, dude, man, I'm just looking at Skid's stat line and I'm like, that's a weird stat line, man. Do not like. It is pretty awkward. It's like, it's, it's like a bad Silas stat line. Because when you get the investigators yeah. who have high foot and fist, it's kind of like a conflict of interest, right? You're like... What am I supposed to be doing? And obviously the choice is fighting enemies because it's the right thing to do. Um, but then he has three book. <laughs> yeah. If Skid's been printed in the current uh, cycle, he'd be like one, three, four, four. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For sure. Or, yeah, he just, for some reason, they'd be like, all right, you can have some Jenny Barnes stats. And it's like, what? Yeah. Why? Why would yeah. I want this? Yeah, I mean, like, his stat line is good for a lot of rogue cards where, like, you get to add your foot to one of your skills to yeah, do definitely. a thing, and you can kind of just do whichever one you want. Mm -hmm. uh, but that being said, it's a little rough. I do like how this... Like, oh, here you go, Travis. Yeah, his stat line is, like, is like the... It's the personification of what rogue cards were for, like, the first two-ish yeah. cycles. Yeah. Where they were like, yeah. you're kind of shitty at everything except yeah. for foot, but foot isn't like. Yeah, it's foot is also bad. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it, I like how this has kind of turned into a roast of skids. <laughs> 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 I do think the 25 automatic, though, is a pretty sick mm -hmm. weapon, especially in uh, skids and other rogues. Like, Finn would love this yeah. gun. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically more copies of Finn's gun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, Justin, you open the door to complain about a green investigator or green cards, and I'm here for it. I mean, I'll stand behind complaining about Skids. He's confused. He's still... He yeah, has even to... Brain doesn't really like Skids, so that's how you can tell that he's uh, not high on our list of favorite investigators. Oh, so. yeah. I mean, like, Safina's just cooler, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do well, think Safina's... She purple cards. Yeah, yeah, because no. she can play purple cards. Yeah. And the stat that she uses for her off color is a four. And like Travis also likes Trish because she's basically a seeker. <laughs> yeah. She is yeah. not basically a seeker. She's literally a seeker. You know, she's... the next uh, the next campaign we play that isn't In's Mouth because I'm going to play one of the new guys for that. I'll play Skids. All right, let's go. <laughs> you can you can hey. hold me you can hold me to that. Brent, if don't worry. I'll remember. choose it to I be will. Pat to Carcosa, so you can go insane and you have a panic <laughs> button if you want to press it. <laughs> All right, let's go Let to the next out. card, which is Hatchet Man. So Hatchet Man is from the Forgotten Age. This is a skill card that it's practiced. Whoa, it's practiced. If this skill test is successful during an evasion <laughs> attempt, the next time the evaded enemy takes damage this turn, deal it one additional damage. Whoa, this looks this works pretty great with that gun we just had. What doesn't it? It kinda does. It does, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, no, you evade the guy and you're slave by evading and then you get to shoot him for three damage instead. Wow. Three damage. Damage. It's like a vicious sick. blow. Yeah. That it's just a vicious blow that you have to jump through another hoop for. <laughs> um Yeah, yeah I mean I, I, sounds like a green card. When Travis suggested Hatchet Man, I'm always down for more Hatchet Man. I love this guy. Even though he's failed me more than he's helped me, I still <laughs> love me some Hatchet Man. <laughs> yeah. You know? I don't think there's much more to say. Hatchet Man, sometimes yeah. he shoots them, sometimes he doesn't do he doesn't do squat. Oh, it's cool. I actually, Hatchet Man's one of the green cards I look at, and I'm like, yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I'm the exact same. Mm -hmm. And then 
one of the few green cards look at and it's like, I'm like, I want to play green a deck with this in. I think it's because yeah. it provides such a nice button for your brain to press where it's like, I do this and then it's better. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yay. It's like built-in synergy that you feel like you discovered, but it's actually just there. Yeah. All right. Last card for the five cool cards for Schizo Tool is the Ornate Bow. This is from the Forgotten Age campaign. It's a four-cost, three-experience asset that takes up both of your hand slots. It's an item, relic, weapon ranged. It uses one ammo, limit one ammo on Ornate Bow. Uh, as an action, you can spend one ammo and fight. This attack uses your foot instead of your fist, and you get plus two foot and deal plus two damage for this attack. And then as an action, you can knock another arrow, place one ammo on Ornate Bow. So you might be thinking, hey, hey guys, this is just like a good weapon. I don't think this weapon is as good as everyone makes it out to be. And I think it's only good in some investigators, and one of those investigators that I think it's really good and cool in is Schizo Tool. I agree. I think this card was really cool when it first came out. And I think a lot of people have sort of some nostalgia for it. Mm -hmm. And there's definitely a couple investigators where it really shines in. Skids, obviously. Um, like Rita can make good use of it. Yep. Um, a couple of the other high foot green investigators. Finn, mm -hmm. because he can evade for free if he misses and then reload. <laughs> Yeah, like basically anyone who can sort of either has noticeably higher foot than fist or has a way to mitigate the knocking an arrow, which yeah. is what Skids does with his uh, lightning bolt ability. It just gives yeah. you a reaction to knock the arrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this card is also like kind of good with two of the other cards on our list here. Uh, being like Hatchet Man, where if you, don't, if you draw an enemy but you don't have an arrow right now, you can evade them, load an arrow, and then shoot them for four. That's sick. Uh, which is a lot of damage. If you got a vicious blow, you can just one shot a five a five health enemy. Like That's sick, no problem. Uh, and it's also really cool with haste, yes. where we can just make like a limitless stream of arrows. <laughs> because, <laughs> because yeah, you yeah. haste is it two, is it two in a row or three in a row? I've never actually played it's two, it. It's two in a row. row. So in you can fire. Was. You could do something, you could fire, and then knock, and then do something else. Or even just fire again, and then knock again, and then... Yeah, yeah I think I think the extra action that's taken has to be the same type. Mm -hmm. It but, does have so to be like, the same type. Yeah, you can, you can, like, fire an arrow, knock an arrow, and then use your free action to fire the arrow. Yeah. So you get, an, you get a free attack. Or if you started the round without an arrow, you can knock an arrow, fire an arrow, and then get for free more arrows. Yeah, knock an arrow. That seems, that seems super uh, sick. Which you seems also, pretty... Like, you could like fire an arrow and then knock an arrow and then use something like stealth to disengage from the enemy. Yep. Yeah. Or if you have uh, if you have lock picks because you've got a bandolier to hold your lock picks and three book. Uh, and three book. So you get to investigate at seven. You could like shoot a guy, load a new arrow, and then investigate the location for free. Yeah. See, so and like uh, you can do. Yeah, there's a couple of neat things. Mostly, like, this card's weakness is its demand for like infinite actions to be used on it but skids skids is here to use infinite actions on things exactly yeah <laughs> and like it's better than sliding your face into a four shot location thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like it's I, I do think ornate bow while it's cool and it seems like it reads for lots of investigators i think we just proved why with skids it's exceptionally cool and That's why good because we put it as number one on this list we, yeah, well, it's kind of like it's a, it's a, there's no number yeah. one. They're just, yeah, I know yeah, there's like, no number one, but like it just, it makes sense intuitively that the, the, the last one has the biggest impact. It does. It does feel like it is like the spiritual number one. Yeah. All right. It's well, that formal, was our like, five cool cards for Schizo Tool. This series, uh, it's, although it's not weekly, we will be doing this one commonly. So get ready for our next episode, which is, I believe, going to be Agnes, Agnes Baker. She's the next investigator in the core set. Uh, yes. So that's going to be exciting because, you know, purple cards are sweet. Red cards are sweet. A great combination. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. What are some more cool cards for Skids O'Toole? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to talk about Skids' weird stat line, hey, let us know in the comments below as well. Be like, you guys are right. As per usual, Skids is weird. We love you. We love hearing when you guys think we're right. We love it. But don't yeah, tell us we like, we're wrong. We like we're hearing when fragile. you think we're wrong, too. But... <laughs> You know, less so. It's not the same. Uh, dope, yeah, you know? yeah. It's like yeah. less same. Yeah. 
All right, we'll see you guys next week or uh, coming up in the next few days for the next episode. Or right now, if you want to just start a new episode on our channel, we have a bunch of Arkham Horror content. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.